All right, this just in, stocks just up, actually barely up. Investors seizing on some retail sales that were surprisingly up. They jumped in July by the biggest amount we've seen since February. That's the good news. Unfortunately, it was tempered by some bad news on the inflation front and a disturbing inflation report. Wholesale prices, the step before they get to us with consumer prices, jumped more than expected. And the biggest culprit was food. To Money Watcher Monica Meda on an economic trend that still ain't exactly our friend. You, you see this data and crunch it all the time, Monica. Uh, how's it going? I mean, we go through all these numbers each and every day here. But the confluence of the data tells us what? The confluence of the data doesn't actually tell us much at all. We're seeing mixed signals every month. Every month we're sitting here waiting and hoping that we're going to see a brighter future, but we're just sputtering along. And, you know, we're seeing retail, retail sales rise, but we're also seeing in core inflation rise. And as you say, those food prices aren't even baked into those core inflation numbers. And at the end of the day, we've got a flatlining economy, and we just aren't seeing the wind in the sails that we need to see for, for growth. You know what I worry about? Let's say uh, the overall retail sales in the aggregate sense uh, are still soft. I mean, with this latest month gain, we hope continue. But we know as well that people's salaries aren't going up at a, at a marked amount, certainly not at that pace. So obviously you can only push that so far. I always worry about stagflation. I don't want to get ahead of myself or show my age, but I can remember from the Carter period where you had a weak economy and then through some issues that were not his fault, you had the OPEC crisis and the oil embargo, you had inflation running amok in an economy that wasn't just doing anything. How I, likely is that? Well, I think your guess is as good as mine. Um, we've got economists saying everything from inflation, deflation to nothing at all. And, you know, one thing that you can count on is that the consumer is still feeling a little bit weak. Um, housing prices are stabilizing, so maybe they're spending a little bit more. Or maybe it could be the heat, and that drew them to the malls last month. But at the end of the day, Wait the economy... Wait a minute, the heat would draw you to the mall? <laughs> I tell you, it, it would have to be firestorms outside for me to go into a mall. Well, but. maybe Mrs. Cavuto went to the mall, but consumers were shopping, and wow. you know that was seeing showing us a little bit of a bump. But at the end of the day, there is still a lot of weakness. So um, companies are going to be hesitant to raise prices when consumers are still feeling that weakness. All right, Monica, always a pleasure. <laughs> the shopping analogy is notwithstanding. All right, meantime, small business owners.